Record? All right, all right. Well, I'll talk. We got a supermodel Jessica Wall, and then we also have this guy, Mr. Glickman. Now, Mr. Glickman, yes. you are an expert with shows. So tell us about what's this one, the night something? The uh, nighttime show? That's my talk show that I host at the Hollywood Improv. It's a live late night show. It's the only late night, live late night show in LA. Okay. So, this is your main group, right? So oh, all oh, yeah. Trouble can happen. All you got to do is find the right people, and then you're like, oops, I wasn't supposed to say that. Yes, <laughs> I think we were at the right people right now. Yeah. Have you found you attracted them? Yes, and, and it gets crazier every time we do the show we have fireball whiskey as our sponsor so if you can imagine it just starts it's crowd it's crazy and then it just gets worse and worse as the night goes on you wake up in the emergency room or getting bailed absolutely it's a lot of fun it's a great time now, when you were in school I could see you kind of being the guy that was in the principal's office a lot but yet the principal even thought this guy's entertaining yes uh, I this is a true story that means um, he's gonna lie I got in uh, a lot of trouble one time because I was doing very bad in school I was in elementary school I was a young kid and my uh, mother was called into the school and the principal said to her uh, your son is terrible at math he's real bad at it but he won't need to be good at it because he's gonna be so famous he'll hire someone to do it for him accountants that is a true story that really happened when I was in like I was fourth the person grade. that sat next to him like <laughs> cheating off him no no I was a good kid in school that had to sit next to this crazy person yeah, I don't believe any of that I'd be sitting there going hey want to see a magic trick no, <laughs> like some I'm sort of pay attention to class what are you doing I brought Star okay, well, Wars you were doing toys. selfies. Star Wars toys. Let's right. talk about Star Trek. The last episode. Love that. Yeah. They love sci-fi. Turns. Love it. it. Turns them love it. Uh, Star Wars, yeah. not Star Trek. Let's no, let's get yeah. serious here. Star Wars, not Star yeah, Trek. Yeah, Star Wars. Absolutely. She doesn't Star even Wars. know who Yoda is. Yeah. All right. When you were younger, did you do that smile to get out of trouble? Like, mm, was it me? No, I'm the oldest of six kids, dude. I am like, no, I'm from Chicago. So you were the good uh, example for the other five. No, six? I'm the responsible person who whipped everyone in shape. Let's let's be serious here. This is so scripted and perfect. You <laughs> deliver it so well. There's nothing true about this. You know that. You're a real host. I 100% believe her. I think she is being totally factual. I've only been here four months. I don't have like the scripted lines down yet. Yeah. She's why did you? Why were you forced to leave the other place? Chicago? Yeah. I wasn't forced. I got on the plane and came out here. <laughs> yeah, court order. I've seen that before. Court All right, order. you're out here in LA. So, supermodel, what's the day like for you? You wake up five in the morning, a thousand sit-ups or what? Uh, no, wake up in the morning, get dressed super fast, and go to five castings, and then go to work the next day and keep doing it over and over again. Is there a secret to skin or beauty or something, or just genetics? They inject kale straight <laughs> in. Yes, I have straight I from the kale. Animus. They're so good. They're like every day. <laughs> okay, well, Count us out, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm. Uh, I only do that every other week. Oh, every that's good. Week. That's yeah, good. you know. I can see it in the beard. Gotta stay fit. Gotta I think that sheep beard. embryos in his beard. <laughs> I think that's what it is. When did the show start, or when did you realize you were meant to be on a show? How about that? Uh, this has been. Uh, we've been on the show doing uh, doing the show a year, um, and I get to do it with all my friends. So it's all. It's like everyone that works on the show are people that uh, I, I started out with. So it's a a lot of a lot of great guys uh, Matt Walker runs our show and then Mike Black our announcer is in the party right now getting drunk uh -huh. and uh, free, alcohol. free alcohol yeah he's having a good time and then we get you know guests like you know Mark Marin's done the show and Nick Swartzen and uh, good at good guests yeah Harlan Williams amazing amazing people so it's been a lot of fun and then right now uh, I'm just prepping just prepping myself for the uh, I'm in Storks the movie with Jennifer Aniston oh, and you kidding oh, yeah I'm Andy Samberg so uh, researcher is fired all right yes. go on. so that comes out in uh, less than a month so that's uh, the that's my first movie I've never been in a movie before so exciting. thanks Are you gonna try to sneak in after the premiere like a couple weeks later and see the crowd's reaction when you pop on the screen oh I'm seeing the movie in every movie theater in Los Angeles at least once or twice in every theater I'm going to ever I'm not kidding you if you I will be there I'll be watching the see who's laughing and then I'm gonna ask people after the movie would you uh, would you think of the, would you think of the movie I've been like so nerdy about it it's horrible I don't blame you I'd be too I'd shave the beard come in dye my hair be in camo and be like what'd you think of that guy he was awesome right well yeah because it's an animated movie you don't okay. see my face I so really research more. Yeah, no it's okay so what I'm doing is I'm walking up to like guys that work at like AMC and I'm going Hey, you see that poster? What do you think? You think it's gonna do well? And then they'll go, Yeah, I heard, uh, heard good stuff. And I'll go, I'll go, 
This, that's me in the movie. Dude, that's me. And I got really nerd, like nerdy about it. What if someone, which never will happen, didn't yeah. like it? Are you going to be like, dude, you don't know anything. I have a TV show. I'll tell them to go to hell. I'll tell them to go to, straight to hell. I mean, I'm Nickelodeon. I can curse, man. Absolutely. Watch your ass. You're going opening night, right? Of course. Obviously. We're, we're going together. Yeah, it's going to be great. That's on tape. They're going that's together. That's on tape. We're going together, apparently. How do people find you? I don't mean like your home address, but like Instagram. Home address? Okay. okay give home, home address. address is... Well, I'm constantly moving, so I don't have a home address. Uh, like I said, Interpol's after her. Right. All right, tell them your stuff. <laughs> she lives at 4276 yes. Beverly Glen. Yes, um, where I live. One main yes. Street. You can get me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Stephen Glickman. S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Glickman. Always. All right. Or Lickman as I knew him in high school. Oh. You were in that. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Too we, we good. It. How about Real you? Good. Uh, I'm on Instagram at MS Jessica Wall. MS Jessica Wall. Check her out or drive down Sunset. She'll be stalking this guy. Chance TV, we're out. Congratulations. Thanks, bro.